Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and from time to time I like to discharge my batteries. When? Case number one. The battery is dead, like this one with puncture cell. I should get rid of this battery because it's not useful, I'm not using this and you should not, you can, but you really, really, really should not. It's dangerous to dispose a charged battery because it can ignite and do some damage. So no, 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 before disposing the battery, you should discharge this to zero. So it no longer creates any danger. Or for example, when I go back from the flying session and I have the batteries I did not use. I personally believe that I should keep my batteries in storage in the storage mode. Not fully charged because they are losing the capacitor faster. I believe that I should discharge and store batteries charged to around 3.8 volts. Case number one, the discharge to zero. Usually I'm using the light bulb, 24 volt light bulb connected to the mine battery lead, leave it for a few hours and the battery is just discharged to zero. I can just go to the proper place and put it in the box. Everything is fine. But battery lamp, okay, it's do it yourself. You can do it. It's relatively fast. And why not? If I want to put my battery into a storage, I usually just put the batteries into a charger, set the storage mode on the charger and in a few hours the battery should go down to 3.8 volts per cell and I should be happy. Today I have something else. I have a device that does both of those things in the small form, form factor of few centimeters by few centimeters with the XT60 XT, XT plaque on one side, the balancing connector on the other side, few LEDs, a button, a CPU MOSFETs and the resistors on the back side. How it works? How it works and how it's called? It's called the URUAV LiPo Killer. This side with the XT60 plug is used just to kill the LiPo. You connect the battery, leave it like this, and after a few hours, and by few I mean 20, 30, 40, depends on the capacity of the battery, it should go down to zero voltage. It's safe to get rid of this. The current, discharge current in this case is very, very low because it's only around 40 up to 50 milliamps and it depends on the voltage of the battery. So it's a process. It will take a lot of time. It will get you there. The current is small. The danger of anything catching fire is really, really low. But the thing is, well, let's say getting hot after a few minutes of running. Case number one. And the use, usage number one of this funky little device. The second usage is on this side when you just plug your balancing lead to a connector with a button select a voltage down to which you want to discharge the battery and leave it there like this the cpu stm 31 f1 exactly the same that you can find for example on nazi 32 or cc3d flight controllers and many 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 other devices will monitor the voltage switch the mosfets and the resistors located on the downside on and off to discharge each of the cells to the given voltage you specified with the button. In this case the discharge current is slightly slightly higher because right now for example is discharging with the current of 120 milliamps and when the lights will go off that means the battery is discharged. I will try to simulate that by setting the voltage to 4 volts while knowing the cell. Oh, it's done. It's done. Battery has been discharged to the level below 4 volts. My verdict for the URUAV LiPo killer 
It's a gadget. Not everyone will find uh, really usage for it. Me personally, I do own really a lot of batteries. I'm getting rid of old ones because it doesn't make sense to keep them. They are only taking space and they are heavy. My wife is bitching around them. So I'm disposing them from time to time and uh, a few times a year I will just plug the battery, leave it somewhere for the night, for two nights and then move it to a recycling recycling facility for disposal and um, discharging to a storage voltage yeah also probably the charger with the storage oh it's probably the charger with the storage function will do it faster. On the other hand, why to use charger to storage when it's consuming a lot of power? You just connect this, no, bat no extra battery needed, leave it for the night. Kind of useful. And with that undecided thought, that's all for today. Ciao!